Okay, so in the last video, we did sort of a big proof to show you what is the method, but I really didn't show you the steps in order. So let me show you the steps in order and do an example. What we need to do first is you look at your first order differential equation and convert it into the standard form. So we have convert our differential equation into the standard form here. Good. Now, once you have the standard form, once you have identified P, we can find the integrating factor. Remember, what is integrating factor? Mu V is integral of E to the integral of P right so you do an integration on the exponent of e right that will be the integrating factor all the time now if you do not have the standard form you will have a wrong p and you will be doing finding a wrong integrating factor so make sure you have the standard form correctly that means you have a coefficient one here okay so you have the standard form you identify p and you find the integrating factor good now what should you do after you find the integrating factor well, next thing you should do is you multiply the whole equation by that integrating factor. So let's multiply 1 by mu, the standard form, okay? So mu times dy over dx. Now at this point, we know what is mu, okay? By using the formula that's inside the box, okay? So this is what we get after you multiply by mu. Now, the goal of this special mu is to shrink the left hand side of the standard form multiplied by mu into a smaller equation right so what is that small equation well it should shrink up to integrating factor times y it should always shrink up to this okay if you find your mu correctly again your long left hand side can be rewritten as mu times derivative with respect to x of mu times y or integrating factor times y okay all right now once you shrink that out what do you do you multiply both sides by dx okay you multiply both sides by dx because we are going to do a integration we need to integrate with respect to x so that is why you multiply by dx okay so if you integrate the left hand side what should you get I explained in the previous video, you differentiate the function you have here by green color. Let's write it again in green. So you differentiate this function with respect to it and then integrate it. So what should you get? You ideally should wind up on the same thing, right? Okay, so then right hand side, we can do an integration plus C and then you just need to divide by integrating factor so y is this right hand side divided by integrating factor and that's your answer now one thing important you should not memorize this formula you should follow the steps and get this answer okay you cannot use this formula to get your answer all right let me do an example and show you how to do these steps all right so let's start with dy over dx plus 2y is equal to 3. Now is this in standard form? Yes, it's in standard form, right? Our coefficient of dy over dx is 1. So what is p? p is 2, right? What is q? q is 3. Now since we know phi, let's find the integrating factor. That is e to the integral of 2 with respect to x which is e to the integral of p with respect to x, right? So if you integrate 2, what should you get? You should get 2x, right? So it should be e to the 2x, okay? Don't drop out the e. It's e to the 2x. Your integrating factor is e to the 2x. Now, you know integrating factor. Let's multiply this equation by mu now. So it's e to the 2x dy over dx plus 2 times e to the 2xy e to the 2x times 3 so i multiplied the equation by mu right now this left hand side will shrink up to what integrating factor times y that's always what happens right we show it in the product rule okay and then the right hand side is 3 e to the 2x okay now we multiply both sides 
y dx 3e 2x dx and then we do an integration so if you do the integration here again i explain this if you do the integration on the left hand side you wind up with e to the 2x times y right now on the right hand side once you do the integration three times the integral of e to the 2x is e to the 2x over 2 plus c right okay so let's divide by e to the 2x both side to get y so if you divide each term by e to the 2x okay i give i will divide each term by e to the 2x here will become 3 over 2 e to the 2x over e to the 2x cancel out c over e to the 2x which we can write as 3 over 2 plus c e to the negative 2x and that is my final answer so that is how we use integrating factor to solve a problem okay all right see you in next video for more examples